friends, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are out enjoying the beautiful Governor Basin OHV area. This OHV trail is actually rated easy, and although my Subaru can go a little bit further, we decided to hoof it to get some energy out. So, plus, it always helps me because then I can take in the view. When I'm driving, I definitely don't feel like I can take in the view, but if you are more of a driver, uh, this is a great intro level. There is one little spicy area. The rest is very easy, very gentle. And where does this road lead you? You might ask. To Camp Burn Mine. We're actually not too far from Camp Burn Mine. So that's gonna be one of our first stops before we just kind of explore around. Um, this is actually part of the Imogen Pass. And if you can't tell, it's kind of high up. And uh, Although Imogen Pass is not currently open for this season, um, on both sides from Ure, which is the side I'm on, is open up until, I think, Yankee Boy. And then on the other side is open to Tomboy. So we're gonna just enjoy pieces and parts that are open. It's a little bit of climb. So uh, I'll catch you when I'm not climbing and tell you why I really want to see Camp Bird Mine. I didn't do much research on this mine and I'll tell you why in a little bit, but this is not what I was expecting. Like holy gorgeous home. That's stunning. Such a shame these aren't more like Animus Forks where they're maintained and you can walk through them. Cause these are some gorgeous homes. Looks like they're doing what they can to keep them upright, but they're definitely not safe as they currently are. But look at, this is the main office. always loved the history of the boardwalks and how they kept you above snow and above mud and kind of connected. This one connects to what looks like is an outhouse. Um, I'm not going in any buildings. This land doesn't say no trespassing, so I hope I'm not doing anything I shouldn't be doing. Um, I'm just kind of walking around the outsides. Um, there's no sign over here, but I apologize if I am doing something I shouldn't be doing. But I don't recommend you do it if I'm not, but just the buildings themselves say no trespassing and then there's land over there that says no trespassing. So I think I'm okay. It's kind of meandering. I know, I feel like I said that a lot, but I think I repeated that a lot, but I don't know. I just, I take it to heart, like my videos that when I'm out doing things, I don't want people to go and do things, but I'm always trying to follow the rules and the laws. So I think I'm okay. This land set doesn't say anything. So just the buildings. Okay, I'm done repeating that. shot on my cell phone because I think it's going to be better but you can see the stairs and the woodwork inside. So why this area? 
why this mine, why this adventure day. So I read the book Tomboy Bride by Harriet Fish Backus, and it's actually her journal of living in these mountains up at Tomboy Mine, and then she lived in British Columbia and then up in Leadville. And the way she wrote just brought this mountain range to life in a way I had never imagined her struggles and her joys and the simplicity and the hardship of life up here. And I just, I wanted to experience it for myself. She actually, they did a day trip to Camp Bird, so it's kind of cool to see this, but Tomboy is on the other side of the pass. And if you're new to the channel, we incidentally found during a needle biopsy for a sarcoma that he has, that he has a congenital uh, peritoneal pericardial diaphragmatic hernia, which means that since birth, his intestines have been up in his uh, heart sac. So the surgeon has recommended against surgery because it would be way riskier and um, probably wouldn't make it off the table um, since he's had this eight and a half years. But it has definitely um, changed how we're adventuring. Um, I won't put him through a lot of really hard, um, like he's very fit and the vet said, keep him fit, keep him active, keep him running, keep him climbing. But Tomboy's up around 12, 13,000 feet and it's a very steep, very hard hike. So I don't feel the most comfortable taking him there. So, you know, we're, we're, seeing, we're seeing this in a different view, a different side. Um, I might find a private Jeep tour that could take me and him up to Tomboy, but we will see. But for now, I'm just enjoying getting to check out new mines, new areas with him, and kind of living uh, the tall boy bride uh, life, I guess. Um, getting to like take her words and literally bring them to life, which is really cool. Um, I guess I never thought buildings like this existed up here. They are gorgeous, gorgeous. And although it's easily accessible now, it wasn't easily accessible back then, and the winters up here would be brutal. So it is amazing to see such gorgeous homes and trying to picture them with their flat silver and uh, their potbelly stoves and cooking um, and surviving the harsh winters up here. It's kind of bringing that book to life for me. So if you like mining history, if you like history at all, I highly recommend um, Tomboy Bride by Harriet Backus. It's absolutely amazing and a great love story too. Since we parked a lot farther along, not my Subi, uh, than I thought, we haven't gotten much exercise in. So we're just gonna take it easy up the Imogen Trail and just see what's here and what it looks like to spend some time in these gorgeous mountains, learning how to breathe. So when you are hiking this, you will definitely run into traffic. I don't think I'm gonna run into too much just because the pass isn't fully open yet. Uh, but you're moving slow, they're moving slow. So you're relatively safe. Um, just be cautious on like tight turns, give them the berth to like pick their approach and climb correctly so that you're not putting them in a tight spot since you have a little more wiggle room because you're on two legs. This is steep. So when I say they have to clear the passes like where they're not open, it's either snow block the trees down. Found this great picture on their Facebook. I'll try to grab it and share of what one side of the pass looked like earlier this spring. So thank you to the Forest Service, but oh, I'm gonna walk through that real quick. A little scary. Thank you Forest Service for cleaning this.
gorgeous as Imogen Path looks. It is in full sun and it's, even though it's only like 67, it'll get cooler as we go up. His health is my number one priority. He's panting, so obviously he's gonna pant when he exercises, but I like to, I like to control it. So we're gonna go Imogen Pass this way, which goes into the trees and actually cuts back to Yankee Boy. And then back, I could just take the road. We can just do a little trail run back to the car. So I think that's what we're gonna do because this looks more shaded, looks like a gentler grade, but this, I will be back for someday on these, these two legs. That just looks stunning. So in the tomboy bride, when Harriet sees the first glimpses, sorry, we're tangled, dance with me. Um, she calls them spires of rock and I've never put those words to these mountains but now that I'm just looking at them that's that's man back in the day they just had the best way to say things and I'm not the most eloquent speaker anyways so I, I don't I don't put the right words out there I struggle but now I'm just looking and using her words spires of rock There's where we came from. Right there. And ah, you can see Chili Girl. She's way right there. Right there. We were down the canyon and I showed you that video of where the water is coming down. This is where. How cool. Whoa. Dance with me again. A uh, few hundred fiends is just hooked to <laughs> there, so we tangle kind of easy. Um, but uh, anywho, it's this weird juxtaposition up here because you feel so isolated and alone at times. And then just out of the blue, here comes an OHV or a bike or a Jeep. So it's like, you're not really, really alone because you can also hear a Yankee boy a little bit. But it still feels, yeah, just like this weird little mix of supreme isolation up in these rugged mountains. And then boom, all of a sudden, modern friends just show up. I do want somebody to take me and Fiends for a ride. I think it would be so much fun to get to see things we've never seen before. Um, so definitely I'm gonna look into it. Bye. Nice Thank you. Nice Jeep, that looks way easier. Aww. <laughs> line maybe there's no trespassing so I'm not gonna go up in there but you're on a tripod so we're gonna lift you up guess I'll see what's over there uh, when I edit <laughs> wow who lived up here man what an epic place to live oh this makes me want to see tomboy so bad Oh, guys, I think we might, I think the shoes might have to get a dunk. <laughs> Do you guys have to tell me what's your favorite hiking snack in the comments below? Ooh, metal, hold on. We're near something. Anywho, back to my question. Ooh, I wanna know, favorite hiking snack below or like a trail running snack, so like, Today, we've been kind of jiggy jogging after we stopped 
that massive climb. This has been kind of a nice grade to do a little run, do a little walk, do a little run. It's been nice. So I need something that I can eat on the move. Nerds gummy clusters. I just recently discovered them. They're like little sugar bombs. So many carbs, but they're so good too. These are like my new go-to. So tell me, what's your go-to? Oh, I thought we had water features. Ah! Oh my. Oh my. into the OHV traffic now. I just had to stop for like six of them. I'm on kind of the side road. My plan is to connect here to the more main route and go down. I think I'm gonna have quite a bit of traffic. It's now about 10 a.m. So the morning rush is starting, but it's still the least mileage quickest way down. So we're gonna take it and we'll just be polite. Run and get over, run and get over. As you can see in here, Fiends is ready to keep going. The weather is perfect. It's a little cooler up here. We've been in a lot of shade, a lot of water. We're cooled down, We're feeling good. We're gonna keep going. So, funny story, he also likes, shh, shh. he likes when he can hear his echo. We can really hear his echo. Uh, we were once in a canyon and he barked for a solid probably 45 minutes and he would bark and then like give it a listen, bark, give it a listen. So anytime we're in a canyon like that, he extra special barks. And I swear it's cause he loves hearing his little echo. <laughs> we're back on the main road, Yankee Boy Basin. And uh, we're just turned left, which is away from the car. A little bit, or just a little bit. It's a little jaunt. I'm gonna see a better view of the Mer Virginist Mine, which is an old mine, but it also still currently active. So I'm gonna get up here to see it. And then we're gonna head back. We got a long way to go. Not a long way. I think I have about three miles to go the direct route. Fiends is doing amazing. This temp is perfect for us. So we're having a blast. Um, this is what's hard sometimes about having an aging dog is like historically, Beans and I probably spent 10 hours out here just meandering and exploring, but uh, we've got one hard hike planned. So we're saving it for that. But this meanwhile, it's perfect. You can get a drink, you can get a drink. Okay, there's an information center, so 
gotta go check the stance again. Gotta go check out the information center, right? Right? Some old mining relics up here as well. Some cogs. I mean, don't eat the grass, kid. And I want to make it very clear that me saying that we used to spend 10 hours meandering, I missed, was not me complaining. I think. Having an aging dog, being the owner of an aging dog, is the most precious gift you can have. Um, one, not everybody gets it, but two, I've had eight and a half years with this kid. Our memories, our routines, our comfort, his behavior, we're, we're two peas in a pod. And I will take a slow day in the mountains with you over anything else. Over anything else, kid. You owe me till 14, kid. 14, okay? Slow mountain adventures till 14. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mom, stop squeezing me. <laughs> Torture the marmot. I try not to like threaten the wildlife. They were just looking at each other. So please don't think I like was trying to put that marmot in a spot where it felt threatened. Had plenty of exit space, but, and Fiends was just watching, but I don't have a lot of him to feel scaled, but when he barks, I think he can feel scared. Ah, so out we go and back down we go. came up to use the restroom, which they have right here. And there's a couple more abandoned mine buildings, but private property, probably because they're just really, really deteriorated. So kind of dangerous, I would assume, to walk around, but still really cool to see. I know, geek sauce. I think I'm gonna like be able to get into a good running cadence. Something beautiful happens and my herding dog here is hurting me. I'm not running fast enough because it's a really steep. I'm not running right now, I'm walking. I can't walk. I can't run and record. I don't know how people can. Um, but it's really steep and loose and he's mad at me. So he like nips my hip. He's crazy. He's crazy. So I gotta like subtly, here we go. We just gotta subtly like ease in. All right. Okay, no cameras never do it justice. We had to stop running because I literally can't control my speed. It's like really slick gravel and straight down. And my feet kept sliding as I was getting faster. So we're just stop uh, power hiking down. Woo. Um, but for anybody who wants to do Yankee Boy on their feet, like a Yankee Boy Imogen like I did, um, Yankee Boy is very wide. It's wide enough for two vehicles in most spots, so you do not feel like you're a pain in the keister. Um, you know, I step over to the side, make sure I give people plenty of room. Um, but, you know, these roads are meant for bikers and hikers and OHBers and Jeepers and motorcyclists, so everybody kind of knows you're here. Nobody's irritated. 
that you're here, which is kind of what I think I was a little worried about. Um, but this road is plenty wide and any Subaru type vehicle and above can get up to the Yankee Boy Imogen Pass split. Um, not like past Camp Bird Mine on Yankee Boy. Um, I wasn't sure, but you'd be just fine getting just to that split and then I think you'd probably wanna park. Actually, I'm coming up to the one spot on Yankee Boy that is narrow. It's called the Rock Overhang. So I'm just gonna keep my ears open if I hear, just like I would if I was driving. If I hear somebody, give them a burst. Um, if I hear two people, back up. Um, so that's all, that's all you gotta do. If you're ever like nervous about doing things, you just act like you're a vehicle. <laughs> that's what I do. We had a really wide opening there, so we got to play around a little. That's such a cool spot, man. I actually think I like walking it better. You can feel like the water hitting your face. That was fun. Whew. I think the grade might be a little bit better now, so we can do a little jiggy jog. hours later we're back where we first started six miles under the belt and a beautiful day um, so there is camping up there is parking up right at Camp Bird Mine there's several cars here I'm parked about a quarter mile downhill away just because I wasn't sure but if you're wanting to do like a little mini adventure on foot like I am and you don't want to like push your car much further. There is some parking up here. Um, and then there's parking a little bit further down. There's a big area where I'm parked. So there's lots of options. There's really only one like little chunk that there's no parking allowed on. And it's that little sketch chunk. And I would say the most you need is all wheel drive. If that, my all wheel drive didn't catch, but I can see if it's like rainy or wet or snowy at all, you'd slip. Um, so just a little heads up, but I would say, yeah, any Subaru type vehicle can get up here and probably a Prius because Priuses can just get everywhere. Now the best part, shoes and socks off. These are almost dry. My feet aren't, but the shoes are, the socks are. <laughs> I get. more water? Is that what you want? Here. You want to drink out of a bowl if I try to give you one. Don't think I wouldn't give him a bowl. Kid would straight ignore it. He ignored that fresh spring. All right, we're done here, but there was a couple river openings. I think we might do cold plunge or at least soak our feet. You'd be good for Feeny's little paws. I love a good cold plunge, so let's see if they're not all packed. Well, you gotta get in the other side, kid. This side's blocked. Oh, please. Good kid. Let me get my... Pick up the chart, son. This little lad. I think I like this little lad. This little lad. I think I like this little lad. With you. With you. I didn't even get You brought stuff, you didn't you? Stuffy goes everywhere, doesn't he? Stuffy goes everywhere. I think I love this little lad. Oh, hey guys. Didn't realize you were on.
drowned here, so amazing, like so, so epic. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed hanging out just outside of Ure, Colorado with us on Imogen Pass and Yankee Boy Basin. We had so much fun showing you around Camp Bird Mine and then just taking you with us on our exploration, seeing something that we've never seen before. Like how wild is it that this is just a random Sunday? And then what a great way to finish it off with a cold plunge and just seeing Feeney be an absolute crazy head even after almost six miles and elevation and just it warms my heart. He's so happy and he's thriving on the road and I'm so thankful and grateful that I get to give him this and then I get to bring you guys along. So I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with us. I hope you learned something about the area or just got to take in the gorgeous sights and feel like you were with us. Uh, for now, we are gonna go back up and over the pass into Silverton. I think I'm gonna grab a snack. Maybe we'll go to the park, um, use cell service because I don't have cell service at my campsite to catch up with friends and family let them know I'm safe let them know kind of what I have planned this week um, maybe post on Instagram update the stories um, and yeah then we'll head back up to camp for an early dinner and just to chill and relax without Wi-Fi so I hope you enjoyed hanging out with us today I certainly loved bringing you along and uh, we will see you guys on the next adventure wherever the road may take us <laughs>